But when you go in the, in the school system, go go home, especially if your parents are from the islands. Go home and tell your mother, I'm just stupid. I can't get good grades. She gonna smack you with a fridge, man. <laughs> Hold on. What about you, brother? Come over here real quick. Come here. Give the brother a hand. Oh yeah. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in God? Yep. You believe in the Bible? Who doesn't? Okay. There's atheists out here. Muslims? Yeah. There people who don't. Crazy. But guess what? You're strong by brothers who do. So my question is this. Do you love God? Yep. How do you love God? How? Yes. Just love him. That's it. Okay. Well, do you have a wife? Yep. Okay. How do you know your wife loves you? How do I know? Yeah. How do you know? You're not a Jew, right? Okay. 
Uh, Isaiah 1111. Are you from Jamaica? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, Jamaica. West Indies, right? Yeah. Read that. It's going down there. Isaiah right. 11 and 11. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time. Second time, come on. To recover the remnant of his people. The remnant of his people, because the Bible says the children of Israel are going to scatter across the four corners of this earth. Right? Read on. Which shall be left. From Assyria, uh -huh. and from Egypt, and from Bathos, and from Gush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. From the what? And from the, the islands, islands of the sea. sea. One more time. And, and from, from the, the islands, islands of the sea. sea. Brother, what's your name? What's your name? Max. Max. Brother Max. Okay, yeah. brother Max. Is Jamaica an island in the sea? <laughs> you got many, many Wait, islands. hold on. Is it an island in the sea? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there is a possibility you're a Jew. That's what the Bible says. Well, it's not really important if you're a Jew because there's a lot of Jews who don't wait, believe in Judaism. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We can deal with that, but I'm yeah. saying, first and foremost, I want a solid answer. Based off the Bible, the Jews yeah. are scattered across the four corners of the earth, right. and Jamaica's an island in the sea, right. and they're going to be called back from the islands of the sea. Oh, sure. Now, is there a possibility that you could be a Jew, yes or no? I think, I think you're using the word in the wrong way. The Jew to me is like a Jamaican. Are you, it's like saying, are you Jamaican? And if I was born in England and I'm not Jamaican, okay, I'm a, I'm American or I'm a Jamaican, I'm a, a European. If you're a Jew, a Jew is by natural, your natural, your naturalization or by birth, you're a Jew. But now if you say, are you uh, believe in Judaism? That's a totally different question. Brother, I can't you, be I, a Jew because I never born in Jews. Wait, 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 hold on, brother. This, this three things different. You're a Jew. I wait, hold on. Jew. What, I, I want to say one thing. I want to. 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 I want to step into this. I want to. I want to step into this. What you just said because there are literally three different things. Yeah. If you said naturally a Jew, yeah. that can't be based off where you're living. Right. Right. Because whether I'm in Haiti, America, or Israel, I'm still a Jew. If I'm a Jew naturally. Right? I'm a by Jew by, right. by my parents, right? Boom. Yeah. Right? Based off where I am doesn't change that. If I'm somewhere, then I have something called a citizenship a citizenship right. there. That's where you have times in the Bible where Paul says he's okay. a what? So what Wait, hold your, on, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish my statement. Let me finish my statement. Let me finish my statement, Max. Let me finish my statement. Paul says in the Bible he calls himself a Roman, but we know he's not a Roman because he calls himself an Israelite of the son of Benjamin and his father being Abraham. Those are not the father of the Romans, right? Two, right? Three third, the third thing, right? Island of the sea. Jamaica is an island of the sea. The children spread spread across the four corners of the earth. There is a possibility you're a Jew. And so what? If and I there's am. a distinction. There's a distinction between being a Jew, what if I am a Jew? and Judaism are not the same thing. Exactly. They're not the same thing. Right. Okay, so we're talking about you being a Jew. And you said, what if, if what if, what does it matter? Yeah, what, what if I'm a Jew? So what? No problem, no problem. Let's see according to the Bible. Why is it important to be a Jew? Give me the book. Yeah, I was going to say, much every way. Oh, yeah. Romans chapter 3. There you go. Oh, Romans yeah. chapter 3, verse no, 1. Sister, Bring it out. Way. Come over here. What advantage then hath the Jew? What did the Bible say? What, what advantage then hath the Jew? What advantage is there to be Are a Jew? Jewish? Hold on. No, hold on, hold on. What? No, we're not Jewish. We're Jews. We're, we're Jews. all Israelites here. Okay, read that. What advantage then have the Jew? Pause. We're not Jewish we're or proselytes. proselytes. We're not Jews or proselytes. We're all Israelites here. Okay. All right? Yeah, we by all birth, descend by the Israelites by birth. By birth. Yes. Okay. So that's, the, that's the same way you be a, a Chinese man. Right? Okay. You can't be a Chinese man if you're born over You guys must be really right? upset for what's going on, on right now. But hold on one second. Read that. Actually, we're happy about it. But go ahead. Oh, what profit is there of circumcision? Uh huh. Much everywhere. Much every what? Much everywhere. And that's also a part of the culture of being a Jew. Circumcision, yeah. laws, right? There's laws in this Bible you guys are all that could benefit us. Hold on, brother. There's laws in this Bible that could benefit us if we are the Jews, right? So go ahead, you can ask questions. Well, I believe the entire Bible. You guys believe a certain section of it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I believe wait, the whole wait, wait, entire wait, Bible. Where, 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 where are you asserting that from? We, we just, already know. We, wait, hold on. We read something from the Old Testament, we read something from the New Testament. How do you say that we don't believe in the whole Bible? Because basically, I know a lot of Jewish people, and they believe in four out of first, so one, two, three, four. Well, it's not even there. But you believe the first five books of the Bible, it's all good. But once you start getting down into Matthew, Mark, Revelation, all that stuff, you're like, Can okay. Can we just read 
Romans? Yeah. Didn't we just read Romans? Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Didn't but Didn't we you're... just read Romans, brother? But you're not listening, man. But, you're not listening. But do you really believe it? Yes, absolutely. You believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Yes, absolutely. And you believe that he was created but do you by know God? But you know why, why he wasn't sent, though? I'm asking the question. Wait, no, no, no. Well, we're asking the questions. No, you but, already got but, but we're, we're opening up to an open dialogue, a peaceful dialogue here. But we're the one that asks the question because this is our platform. Right? Yeah, but you're so let, let's go. Let's get. Let's get. No, actually, I've been answering your questions. Let's get book Matthew chapter 15. I want to see a question. I want to ask you a question. Because we here, we are the Israelites. These people right here on this side, they're the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Right. And that's what we're dealing with. That's what we're teaching. We're not teaching everybody. And I didn't forget about you saying you don't have to keep the commandments because you know your Bible. Let's see how much you actually know your Bible. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent. What did Christ say? I, I am, am not, not sent. sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's red letter. And Christ is telling us that he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah. So how well do you know your Bible? Do you know what Christ's mission was? Who was he being sent to? Yeah, Israel. Israel and who else? Huh? Who else? Who else? Yes. Else. There you go. So you asked me, this all goes back to what you asked me before. You said, if I'm a Jew, what, what does it mean? What does it matter? It does matter because if you're not a Jew, Christ don't give a damn about you. Christ don't care about you. He don't care about what's going on with you. But he cares about those he came for, which are the Jews. Matthew 1 and 21. Let's see according to the Bible. There's much advantage at being an Israelite, but it's not something you convert to. It's something you're born. Yeah, but you missed one right? very, very big point. Go ahead, make, tell me your point. You missed a very, very big point. Yes, he was sent to the Jew, but he also has people that he delegate to the rest of the world. Like he made an ad the apostles. So I am sent to the Jew. You guys go talk to the Gentiles. Okay? Matthew, I was going to say Matthew 15, 24, but start from verse 20. Am I wrong or am I right? Where the, the woman comes to him. Right, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you okay, so basically you're you're saying that even though he did come to the Jews, right. he, he also is dealing with like other people and right. stuff like that, right? He's for the whole world. Okay, well I'm gonna say this, just to add on to that, right? Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question. Right? Is a believing Gentile equal to a believing Jew? In class. Uh, believing Gentile? Yes. Um uh, that's kind of a, a difficult question to answer because you have to you have to lay the groundwork of what a believing Jew and a believing Gentile is. You see, in my belief, the natural Jews are no longer have uh, the, the tabernacle with God because they rejected Christ. So the special position that they had before has been put up. Okay. Okay, but we're, we're, we're putting that to the side. We're not talking about the spread of the, the, the yeah, Israelite. What, what I'm trying to do is define for you what the new Israelite is. The new Israelite is not by birth anymore. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. The new Israelite. Are you talking about a spiritual Israelite? The spiritual Israelite. Okay, give me an example of a spiritual Israelite in the Bible. Spiritual Israelite? Yeah, give me one in the example. Like, give me an example. Well, you take, for example, um, uh, the, pent uh, the people of uh, Gentiles that were in Pentecost. That they were, he was, they were supposed to kill him. If they didn't kill him, would we have a lamb that was our king, our savior? No. 
we wouldn't have a savior if there was no killing happening, right? Yeah, but, okay, but nothing. But the second thing is, it's actually a long propaganda of the Catholic Christian Church that all the Jews just rejected Christ. That's not true. There was a large portion of Jews that followed Christ oh, no, and believed true. in Him. Yeah. Now, what, what verse you had? Um, Matthew fifteen twenty two. Yeah, Matthew fifteen twenty two. Hold that. Hold that. Read that scripture. Just do what you're saying. Then we'll go Last back. Corinthians chapter ten verse one. Bring it out. Home, brethren. This is Paul speaking to the church of Corinth. Read. Oh, brethren, uh -huh. I was not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers. So Paul says, all our fathers, read on. Were under the cloud. Uh huh. And passed through the sea. Right. And we all baptized unto Moses in the cloud in, and in the sea. Now, I have a very interesting question for you, brother. Now. When were these Corinthians ancestors in Egypt with us when we left there? They weren't. I know, I'd have to. Because when we read Exodus, they weren't there. The people that left as the majority was us. And other people that left with us were minor Egyptians. But in the wilderness, they died. The people entered into the land of Canaan were solely the Israelites. So, you know what I believe? Wait, hold on. Before you tell me what you believe, hold on. So before you tell me what you believe, so these spiritual Israelites you said that exist, they don't because Grit tells us that these guys' ancestors were Jews. That's where they were. They were just living in Grit with a Gentile state of mind, right? They were living like Grecians. Like, for example, people leave the yard, they leave Jamaica, they come over here, they forget about all the discipline they learned from their parents. They learn about, they forget the respect for elders, they forget about everything, no, and come over here and act like, like act this like is, a fool. This is true, but there were actually people converted. There were Gentiles, there were, according to the, the, the Romans, some of them were pagans. Okay, can and, you, and they converted. Okay, and some of them example of converted. Of the yeah, what was this, um, I don't remember their names, but there's, um, there was this woman and her husband, and her husband, or she became a Christian, but her husband wasn't. Like, for example, um, Timothy, right? Yes. Timothy's mother, she became Christian. Her, his father was did Okay, he's still into his Gentile stuff. I mean, it's, I don't know, hey, Roman, right? He, he, they call him a Greek in there. Yeah, they Greek, call him a Greek. Greek. Yes, Greek, yes. Yeah, they Greek. call him a Greek. So they call, wait, when they call him a Greek, and his mother was a Jew, which means right. she adhered to the culture as an Israelite, but his father, she, he was just following the Grecian culture. That's it. Right, right. Because just being a Greek didn't automatically mean you're actually a Grecian. But I really didn't really mean appreciate that. you guys reading the Bible because some people don't. And a lot of people think that the Bible is, is kind of out of need. It's not really important right now. Well, you guys are reading the Bible, so right now, to me, you're my brother. You know? And uh, we have more in common than more of what is not in common. So, no first way, pick up on them to check out the Bible and read it. No, yeah. absolutely. But yeah. here, I want to say this though, brother, because when it deals with, um, with Timothy, Timothy also was circumcised. Yeah. But but I want to deal with this though. I already deal with Matthew 15 and 24. And then also, the last thing I want to deal with is just salvation, right? Because beyond all of this, there's the most important thing I'm worried about is just salvation. That's it. We have a, 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 a mis, mis de, a diluted concept of what salvation is and how to obtain it. And I just want to deal with that before you leave. Give me Matthew 15, 20, 22. Salvation is living right here on earth forever. Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 22. Bring it out. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the, came out of the same coast. Right, the Canaan. Right, so go ahead. And cried unto him, saying, Now this goes back to my original question. Who is, is a believing Gentile in Christ equal to a believing Jew in Christ? A natural Jew in Christ? Are they equal? I forget. Huh? No problem, no problem. Is a believing non Jew yeah. equal to a believing natural Jew? Are for, they the most part, for the most part, they have the same salvation, but there is a difference. There are two salvations. One for the earth, one for heaven. Okay? Spiritual Jews go to heaven. Natural, uh, the rest of the people stay right here on earth. So you're going to be have two different salvations. But it doesn't really matter because, you know, God says some go this way, God says some go this way. So it doesn't matter which, what is your, your address, whether it's your address in heaven or both of them. To get salvation different. Oh, bro, you know what you just told me? You just told me a distinction, but right. you didn't give me an answer on whether they're equal. Are they equal in God's eyes? Yeah, 
Raja equal well um, equal in the sense of important, yes. But in terms of where they reside or the jobs that they have, everybody does a different job. So, you know, God might give this person to be a king. He may give this person to be the server of the wine. And so they are not really equal, but they are equal in, 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 in importance to God, although their jobs and their address are different. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that answer. Are they equal in importance in God? Okay. Read that. Matthew 15, 22. Look up, look up. I understand. Book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 22. Bring it out. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. Not an Israelite, a Canaanite. Read on. And cried unto him, uh -huh. saying, saying what? Have mercy on me. Have mercy on what? Have, have mercy, mercy on, on me. me. He said, have mercy on me. Read on. Oh, Lord. Oh, who? Oh, oh Lord. Lord. He's calling Christ Lord. Right, read on. Thou son of David, uh -huh. my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Come on. But he answered her not a word. What did she do? But he, he answered, answered her. But he answered her not, not a word. word. One more time. But he, he answered, answered her not, not a word. Christ heard her talking. He called. She called him the son of David. She called him my lord. But Christ didn't listen to her. Read on. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, "Send her away." For she cried after us. So even the disciples are hearing her and said, yo, send this woman away. Right, read on. But he answered and said. What did Christ say? I am not sent. What did Christ say? I, I am, am not, not sent. sent. One more time. I, I am, am not, not sent. sent. Christ said, I am not sent. Read on. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, come on. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord. She worshiped him and called him Lord. Read on. Help me. But he answered and said, It is not me. It is not what? It, it is, is not, not me. me. It is not who? It is not me. It's not right. If, read on. To take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. He said it's not right for me to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. So, in that scenario, who's the children and who's the dogs in that scenario of Christ? Well, the, 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 the children is the natural Jew. Right. Okay. The ones who are like the puppies or little dogs, those are everybody else. You here! You here! I'm on y'all! Brother got it, man. That's right. Now, yeah. I want to see if you get this before you leave. Now, is a child, is his life equal to a dog? No. No. Give the brother another hand. I'm on y'all. And that's, listen, I want you to understand. That's, look at this sign. Look at this sign. I want you to understand. All these people, they're the children in that parable. We're the children in that parable. West Indians, tribe of Benjamin. We are the children in that parable. Every single person that's not on this list are the dogs. That's right. Right? And they're going to get crumbs. But guess what? We get the whole goddamn loaf of bread. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the most high. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets but my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This word gon' take us